Here with the Owls head coach, men's soccer, David McWilliams. Coach, going to your 13th season. You guys are getting ready to head down to James Madison this weekend. Two big matchups, Virginia Tech and, of course, James Madison. Just talk about what you're expecting this opening weekend. Well, you know, obviously it's our first two games, so, uh, you know, uh, we're going down to win both. And uh, I, I think the most important one is the, uh, the one on Friday. I think uh, we need to get off... Uh, well on Friday and then uh, I think hopefully that will carry us into Sunday's game. But uh, we're going to be missing uh, Ryan Bradbury this weekend. Uh, he strains his uh, MCL. Uh, so that's, uh, that's going to hurt us a bit. So, you know, uh, we just need to have some guys fill in his position and, and it gives other people an opportunity to play. Let's talk about your training camp. You started off with two quick exhibition games, like right in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Just talk about how your team has progressed since facing Talisman and Lafayette up until this point going into this weekend. I, I think we were initially we came in the preseason. Uh, they weren't as fit as I would have liked them to have been. Uh, we had some uh, fitness tests that you know uh, we didn't do well in. So I was I was disappointed in the way we uh, came in the season. But I thought we ended preseason on a on a positive. Uh, we played two games early because we weren't scheduled to play the first weekend and with that you wouldn't have been able to play any exhibition games. That was a week that you, you had to play the exhibition games so that's why we had to play those two games early. So. A lot has been said about this recruiting class that you brought in for this year. A lot of talented guys, especially on the offensive side. Just talk about some of these guys that you brought in into this year that are also going to help you down the road once this program moves yeah, to the well, Big East. We, we think that, you know, the key guy for us was Jared Martinelli. Uh, obviously, we think he's going to do great things, and uh, we think he's going to, you know, at, at the end of his uh, four-year career, we think he's going to be in the record book somewhere, somehow. That's, you know, that's what I think of uh, Jared. And, uh, you know, we have uh, Dalton uh, and Drusco, who I think is going to, you know, uh, come in and see some time, some minutes. He's a very athletic uh, uh, player, and uh, we're going to utilize him sometimes maybe up top and sometimes wide. And then Malcolm uh, is another guy that we think is going to see some time for us. So we think those three players are going to come in and see some minutes for us this year. So. How about of your returnees? You know, Tyler Whitmer's not here. He was a huge asset on your offense last year. But you have Cody Calafiore also returning. He was your leading scorer despite missing games last year. And a few other faces. Mm -hmm. And even Bobby Rosado in goal, who was mm -hmm. very strong for you guys, pitching five shutouts. Just talk about the leadership that you have returning coming this season. Yeah, I think it's important. I think... Uh, we're, we're kind of a uh, senior and junior dominated team uh, and uh, you know I you know the four years go here quick and you know we sat and talked to the seniors and we want nothing more to go and win the A-10 championship for those guys and go out a winner uh, you know our goal is to win the A-10 and make it to the NCAAs and that's been our goal all the time and you know it's, it's a lofty goal and uh, you know uh, hopefully if we can stay healthy I think that's going to be the key for us this year. You mentioned the Atlantic 10 tournament. This is the final year your team is playing in the yeah. Atlantic 10. Mm -hmm. Just talk about you know going through this year, approaching that goal, and how that's going to help you transfer into the Big East next year. Well, obviously, I think it'll help us if we do well in the A10. I think that's going to be the key, and and, and and use that. And again, we want to be able to you know do well in the A10, and our goal is to win it. So if we can do that, that'll help us you know moving into the Big East. But you know, I think we're more concerned about, you know, finishing off this year and, we, you know, we like to go out, you know, of the A-10 and win the A-10 and, and uh, so that's our goal. Great coach, we're thank here you. with the Owls goalkeeper, Bobby Rosado. Bobby, team coming off a successful season last year. Team went to the A-10 tournament for the third straight year. You had a lot to do with that, five shots. Just talk about, you know, the success that your defense had and what you expect coming back into this season. I expect uh, an even better season coming in, a lot more successful defensively. I feel like we're even stronger, we're a lot older, uh, not even just age, but just a lot more mature. And I expect that five to be closer to uh, like eight or ten shutouts, hopefully, that's our goal. And uh, yeah, I feel like we're a lot stronger than we were last year, so it's going to be a good season. Can you just talk about the training camp you guys have just went through and now coming into this weekend, going down to James Madison, playing two games. Just talk about the progression you've had since the start of that up until now. Uh, this is probably the hardest training camp we've ever been put through. We were doing three, three days, real going real hard. We were really focused the entire time. I think that progression over that couple days is really going to help those two-game splits that we start doing this year. 
uh, going from Friday to Sunday. We're going to be a lot fresher. Going down this weekend, I think uh, that 10 days preseason pre is going to really help us push through these two good teams. And lastly, you're a senior on this team. Just talk about maybe some of your goals you want to accomplish before you leave Temple. Obviously, this is a big year for them. Final year in the Atlantic 10 before moving to the Big East. Just talk about a little bit about that. Um, I just, you know, I don't really want to have to say this is our last game for the entire season. I want to keep pushing on past the A-10s, get a good run in in the uh, NCAAs. I think that's everyone's goal. And just to uh, keep winning the next game. I think that's just the main goal. Great about Here are the Owls forward, Cody Calafiore. Cody, team's going down to James Madison. You're playing against Virginia Tech and the host James Madison. Just talk about what you you see your line mates just doing this weekend. Uh, you know, it's a big weekend for us. We had two really good teams, uh, one from the ACC and JMU being a team from the CAA that made it to the uh, NCAAs last year. So two really good opponents, and uh, we want to get good results. We'd like to get two wins out of this weekend to get our season started off right. You're a senior on this team. There's been a lot of freshmen added, especially offensively. Just talk about how, especially you can go, you can go into training camp, how you guys have meshed during that time period up until now. Well, you know, um, before preseason we met um, and stayed on campus together. We had a freshman staying at uh, an upperclassman's house. So we were able to kind of bond with them before preseason had started. So it's been a really good relationship getting these kids into, uh, into camp and then playing together. So it's been really good. It's uh, kind of been a good start to our season. So. In terms of you know some of the pieces that were lost last year, Tyler Whitmer of among the all-time 10 in uh, goal scored at Temple, so that offensive production has been lost. Just talk about how you guys hope to replace that going forward this year. Uh, you know, just losing Tyler, that's a big hit because he was a big goal scorer every year. Uh, but, you know, we just everybody's just got to pick up the pieces. we got four seniors now, uh, two of which are really good attackers. So maybe pick them up in some goal scoring. And, uh, you know, we just all to just mesh them together and fit the pieces. Hopefully uh, we'll end up having a good year. Hey, you're looking, you guys are looking for your third straight Atlantic 10 appearance. Just talking about maybe some of the challenges that are at stake that you've you know, seen in the past, your first two years here, and then now know what to learn from going forward. Uh, just keeping the battle going through the conference play, you know. Uh, we always do fairly well in the conference. We finish in the top. But uh, when we get to the tournament, you know, we really just want to make it happen. Uh, get, get a first round win because we've been struggling. We've been stuck in that first round uh, for the past two years that I've been here. So uh, really getting that first round win, doing well in the conference, maybe getting a higher seed, maybe one and two seed this year. So we'll see. Great, Cody. We'll record it. Thank you.